What's up, Internet? This is Nathan Hamilton, and today we're going to talk about the best drones for beginners. So whether you're a newbie on a small budget or you're also a newbie and you have some budget to put behind a drone, this is going to be a good list for you to review because we're going to cover the array of different drones out there with four of my picks for the best drones for beginners. But before we get to the list of my picks, first, let's run through four of the most important things to look for Consider this a very brief buyer's guide to get you started to help figure out which drone is going to be the right fit for you. And essentially we're going to use these four features as the lens through which we're later going to review the picks of the best drones for beginners. Number one is going to be battery life. You should expect a drone that'll get essentially high single digits worth of minutes whereas some of the pricier drones are going to cap out at around 30 minutes of flight time. Number two is range and this is how far you can fly the drone from where you're centered with the controller and on the lower end of the range you're going to see about 120 meters to the higher priced drones which are actually going to extend that range as far as seven kilometers number three is speed nobody buys a ferrari to drive it in the slow lane Boring. and that's one of the fun things about drones is finding one that you can fly fast so on the lower end of the range, you're going to find about high single digits, about 10 miles per hour for the under $300 category. But as you spend more, you're going to increase that number by two, sometimes three times, and can even get 30 plus miles per hour at some of the higher price drones that are good for beginners. And lastly, number four is the camera. The minimum that you should expect if you are even getting a drone with a camera is going to be 720p. And with technology, it's actually brought the price of a fairly good camera down. And for under $100, you can get a drone with 720p resolution. And of course, as you spend more money, that resolution is going to go up. For our consumer drones that are good for beginners, it's going to cap out at around 4K resolution. So now that we've got those four essentials out of the way, let's get into the picks of the best drones for beginners. So number one on the list is going to be the Holystone F181C. This drone is going to be the best if you're on a budget and you're looking for a camera. As we run down the slate of features, looking at battery life, you're going to get about nine minutes. Range, you're 120 meters. Camera is included and you're going to get a resolution of 720p HD. Now keep in mind, this is under $100, so you're not going to get any gimbal stabilization or object avoidance like you'd expect with higher priced drones but it still is one that's fun to fly you can get a good amount of flight time out of it and add in the gaming style remote control that also integrates with ios or android on your phone and you've got a well-rounded drone that is going to be good especially if you don't want to shell out a bunch of money the second pick on my list is called the drocon bugs 3 now this drone is going to be best for people that already have an action camera. If you've got a GoPro, this is going to work perfectly because it does have a slot to fit your action camera onto the drone and therefore you don't have to spend the money to get an extra camera as you would with some of the other drones. Running through the list of features, battery life almost going to double what we got with the prior pick at about 20 minutes and same for the range more than two times at 300 meters camera we mentioned it before you're going to be able to attach your gopro or other action cameras that fits into the universal slot now running through the last features it does not feature object avoidance it does have your standard remote controller and the price category this falls within that 100 to 300 dollar price range the number three pick on the list is the dji spark now this drone is going to be best for the tech minimalist that's looking for a convenient drone on a budget as well. This comes in under $500 for just the drone, but one of the great features is you can actually fly this right out of the box with your iOS or Android device. We're going to get about 16 minutes of flight time, which is good for a drone of this size. Range is really going to extend it out there further and you'll get two kilometers of range with the additional controller that you can buy. Speed-wise, really going to amp up that speed up to 31 miles per hour with the DJI Spark. And it does include a camera, and camera resolution comes in at 1080p, which at this price point is a great camera that you're not going to find on any other competitor's drones. DJI has really upped the game. On a budget, you can get 
a stabilized two axis camera with a very high resolution where the drone also includes object avoidance and other advanced flight controls that are common to DJI. And if you're familiar with those drones, the remote control, you can actually use your phone out of the box. There is a shorter range. You don't get as many advanced flight features or you can shell out some money for the extra controller, which does make it worthwhile and also extends the range of the drone. For the fourth pick on the list, I'm going to go with the DJI Mavic Pro. This drone is best for newbies that are looking for something that's easy to fly, but are willing to pay some extra money to get the best camera that you can get for your money and also advanced flight controls. And when it comes to battery life, you're going to get about 27 minutes the range is extremely far at seven kilometers and speed wise when you switch it in certain modes you can get as much as 40 miles per hour out of this drone now it's going to drain the battery down pretty quickly when you're in that flight mode but it is nice to know that you can fly this drone at such a fast pace and for the camera you're going to get the best resolution of any of the drones we're talking about today now of course you're going to be paying the most money for this but when you compare this 4k resolution camera to other similar drones at the same price point, you'll likely find that the DJI Mavic Pro has a much better stabilized system and controls than what you'll get with competitors' drones. And that comes down to the three axis stabilization. And just DJI has a lot of experience with drone cameras that is going to make it a, a better option than some of the competitors out there. And of course, running down the last few things, object avoidance, of course, is included with the DJI Mavic Pro and the remote control you can either use with your phone integrated for full streaming capabilities or you can use it without your phone and you do lose some of the streaming capabilities of course but you do retain many of the advanced flight features that are common to DJI drones. So there you have it. Those are my picks for the best drones for beginners. Hope you've enjoyed this list. If I missed one that you think is relevant Go ahead and throw it in the comments section down below. We'd love to talk about which drones you've tested and you found are easy to fly, have great camera, and really just a great value for the price. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next video.